Parents sending their teens off to prom this weekend have the tragic story of 17-year-old Kaylee Jackson on the backs of their minds. Jackson was one of four teens in a car that crashed on the way to Monroe High School's prom over the weekend. Jackson, who was a passenger, passed away. According to police, speeding appears to be a significant factor in that crash. And the teens make other deadly mistakes, of course, while driving. Our TJ Parker is here now, and TJ, police and AAA really tried to get that message across to some of the teens today. Yeah, it's really an important message, especially this time of year. As students at Winton Woods High School took part in a distracted driving and impairment exercise where they drove around a course at the school learning what it feels like to drive while texting. Okay, text, what's for dinner tonight? A lesson learned in texting while driving. There goes <laughs> A reality check for students at Winton Woods High School. This is why I don't text and drive. Students weaved through a course in the school's parking lot. Text, what's for dinner? <laughs> to get a sense of what it feels like to be distracted while driving and its dangers. It was really hard because like I was trying to focus on two things at once. It's an issue AAA continues to harp on. Car crashes are the leading cause of death for teens. AAA says a big factor is distracted driving. They overestimate the driving ability and underestimate the risk. AAA instructor Mike Belcour says inexperience along with distraction can become dangerous. AAA released a survey in 2016 saying speeding, distraction and poor visual scanning are the top of three deadliest mistakes teens make while driving. You should never text and drive ever. Winton Woods senior Layla Adams doesn't text while driving, but she says this course really shows how real the danger is. Even though you think you're going to do it fast, it'll be a quick second. It turns out you're looking at your phone for more than like 30 seconds in a minute, and that's way too long. It's not worth it. And AAA as distracted driving was a factor in nearly six out of 10 moderate to severe teen crashes. They say the worst distractions are other people in the car and using their cell phone. Mm. Kristen. TJ, thank you. Again, police believe speeding was a factor in last week's crash in Butler County, not distracted driving. Late today, the Monroe local school superintendent passed this along. A visitation for Kaylee Jackson is this Sunday from 2 until 6 at Liberty Heights Church on Hamilton Princeton Road.